I'm Sophie. And I'm Colin. We decided to make a marimba out of PVC pipes and 2x4s to help test and prove the concept of Fourier transform. So I'm going to give you guys some basic facts about the marimba so you guys can have some background knowledge on the instrument. Um, the instrument originated in Africa but became more popular in Central America. It consists of graduated wooden bars and has, often has resonators beneath to reinforce the sound. The instrument is also struck by rubber mallets. The name marimba stems from the instrument and word xylophone. The materials used in the production of the marimba include rosewood for the keys and aluminum for the resonator pipes. Marimbas have brass resonators, although these have much greater weight than the aluminum pipes. Most marimbas break down into component parts to make the instrument easier to transport. Now our group will show you how we made our own marimba. We use some uh, principles and some theories that we learned about in class for this past quad. One of them being this equation for frequency, F equals M times V over 2L, and this is for open, open tubes. M is just any integer, 1, 2, 3, 4, V is the velocity of air speed, which is 343 meters per second, and L is the length of the tube. And for the making of our marimba, for the largest tube, which will be at the deepest sound, we used that fundamental frequency, so when m equals 1, to find the um, frequency of our largest length. And for our largest length, we decided on uh, 45 inches just for the base that we were building. And so using this equation, we um, found the frequency using that from this. And then based off this principle of the length and the frequency of having a pretty inverse relationship, we determined that for each of the following tube lengths that we're going to make, we have the longest and get shorter and shorter and shorter, then we are going to find the length of the frequencies from the Fourier transform, and then from those frequencies, cut the new lengths from that. To get the Fourier transform for this tube, we took a ping pong paddle with a soft surface, and we hit the one end of the tube to make a note, and recorded it with a microphone at the end. And this is an image in Logger Pro of the first note we recorded from the longest tube. So this right here with the highest amplitude is the fundamental. And these peaks throughout are the different harmonics um, according to this one note. Okay, so from the Fourier transform that Sophie just showed you over there, we got this data after we averaged hitting the tube five times. Um, from the fundamental length, which was the lowest frequency we found, we calculated using this formula, we rearranged the um, open-open formula for L equals NV over 2F. We found the length of the tube, hypothetical, is 47.7. And so we're in the ballpark for what it is in real life, 47.7 to 45. If we did more trials, we most likely would have got a number closer to the length we had. Um, and then over here for the frequencies, these are the different frequencies from the Fourier transform where there were peaks, as you saw before. Um, and then from those frequencies, we found the lengths for the fundamental for the next tubes we make. And so that will be 23.6, 15.7, 11.7, and so forth. And so now we're going to go and make our marimba based off this data. Right now, we are sawing the 2x4s to make a frame for our marimba. So because the tubes are an open, open pipe system, the way the sound actually is made through the tube is you hit the top and there's a, a flow of air that goes down, a change in pressure that goes down the tube. And since the end is open, the lower pressure outside of the tube actually acts as a rare faction and sends it back up the tube, creating a noise. So because we built our instrument based off of the science of the Fourier transform, we do not have specific notes attached to each pole. It's more like frequencies um, that were present in the one note we started with. 
So we can really see that the science was accurate with the Fourier transform because this pole and this pole are an octave apart. So if you recall, we said before in a previous video that we were using a ping pong paddle to strike the top of the pipes. Um, we found in fact that a spatula works better, so we just started using this. So like I said before, because there's not specific notes, it was very difficult to find a tune that we could actually play. So I came up with, as close as we could find, a rendition of Crazy Frog to play on the marimba. As you can see, we made a marimba out of uh, PVC pipes um, off of Fourier's um, transform, um, and it sounded pretty good, but uh, some of the frequencies and lengths weren't perfect, um, but we could have improved our instrument by having more tests and trials, but at the end of the day, it sounded pretty good.